Flight modes allow you to program different parameters to a single switch that allow you to adjust things like gain, dual rate, and expo values. Essentially, you can change the characteristics of the airplane via a single switch. In the flight mode channel assignment screen that we have pulled up here, you'll notice that the flight modes are defaulted to unassigned. In that case, when we go to the other screens that are relative to flight mode, flight mode one and flight mode one only will be active. In most cases, you're going to want to turn on at least two, if not three, flight modes. And this is where you do that. You assign the flight modes to any of the specific channels that are on here. So for example, if I want to assign it to a flight mode channel to gear, now my gear channel, when I manipulate that gear channel, that will switch flight modes. By the way, if I have the gear channel set up where it's defaulted to, which is gear, I'm only going to get two flight modes. And in that case, it's going to be flight mode one and flight mode three because it drives those channels to the end. If I select auxiliary one and auxiliary one happens to be right here, that's a three position switch and that's going to allow three flight modes. So it's flight mode one, two, and three. So I can select any channel, any of my auxiliary channels to drive my flight modes, including gear, aux one, aux two, and aux three with a six channel receiver. Now with the majority of our transmitters or our computer transmitters, we have a function called channel assignment. So even though I put flight mode on gear, for example, I can move the gear channel to be driven by any one of these switches, including two position or three position switches. And I do that simply by going to the channel assignment screen and then uh, channel input, and I can make the channel input any of the switches that I choose. So the purpose again of flight modes is so that I can set up any one of these switches and when I flip that switch I can easily manipulate any of the settings in the in the function. Uh, shortly we're going to talk about how to set those flight modes up and recommended methods but one of the things I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now when you're first starting using the um, AS3X system it's a real good idea to have multiple flight modes and one of those flight modes should turn off all of the AS3X functions. Um, that's like just in case you have too much gain or you can always turn it completely off. It's kind of a safety home base in case something is not working correctly, in case you got your orientation wrong and it's correcting in the wrong direction, something like that's not working quite right. It's your safety switch that allows you to go, you know, turn everything off and basically you're flying with no AS3X systems at all. So we'll show you how to do that in one of the future videos.